Inside this secluded house, a most unusual dating experiment is about to take place. Behind these light-sealed doors, in this one room, three single men... You can, you can touch me. Just keep it above the waist. ...and three single women will meet in complete darkness. <laughs> well, you smell delicious. What? And will be filmed using infrared cameras, which can see everything the participants cannot. Oh, Ooh. Found it. What will happen when the lights go out? He was such a good guy. Why don't you go be with him, then? Will they find true love based on personality alone? She kissed me good. Yeah! And will a surprising twist affect the experiment? Every alarm sounded in my mind like, ah! The men and women will live in separate wings of the house with no chance of seeing each other outside of the dark room. I just feel so much sexual tension with you. Then, at the end of the hour, they will choose the one partner that they want to see revealed. What will happen when the lights are finally turned on? The light could come on and it could just be like, ah! Will they continue to date? Or will they walk away, leaving their partner behind? I really hope he chooses me. <laughs> it's the age-old question, is love blind? These people are about to find out by Dating in the Dark. My name is Harrison. I'm 25 years old. I'm a bouncer. A normal date for me consists of telling a girl, I just got off work at 2 o'clock in the morning. And I'm just having them over for essentially one reason. My dating life is, let's say, full, but not healthy. So you could say that this experiment is like dating rehab for me. All right. My name is Sean, I'm 26, and I'm in retail sales. And I'm Ray, I'm 26, I'm a supervisor at a microchip company. And obviously, we're twins. So the way that we get all the ladies to come and talk to us, they're like, hey, twins, let's go say hi. And we're like, all right. But my brother and I have totally different personalities. So we're coming into this experiment to see if girls will accept us for who we are individually and not as part of a package deal. What's up, Harrison? Nice to meet you. Ray, nice to meet you. <laughs> I'm assuming you guys already know each other, right? That's kind of a, a secret we keep between the guys. Uh, Can't let the girls know. It's our secret, the guy thing. I'm Kayla, I'm 23, and I'm a personal assistant. With relationships, when I want something, I go for it. I don't think it's bad to show it. When you like a guy, I'll make the move, I'll kind of hint at something, I'll be flirty. I tend to jump into things pretty quickly, and I know this is my weakness. I'm hoping to get to know the guys first so that I can overcome that. But when I definitely like a guy, I'll let him know. My name is Khalil, I'm 27 years old, and I'm a VIP host. High school was really rough for me. I was about 40 pounds heavier than I am now, and I had horrible skin. I had like people teasing me all the time. Everyone judges everyone on the outside, but in the dark, I'm hoping to find something a little bit deeper. I have a huge heart, and I have a lot of love to give. Khalil, nice, nice to, meet to meet you. you. My name is Suzanne, I'm 24, I'm a server and a student. Even though I'm young, I've been through a divorce. You know, I turned it into a positive thing because I've learned what I want, what I don't want in a relationship. I really want to find someone who's a good listener and a good communicator. I get a lot of guys who just think I'm cute and don't really care to listen to anything I say. I want someone who loves me, which is my personality, my loud voice. Maybe I'll find that here in the dark. Hey. Hey, fellas, how you doing? Hey. hey. So, our first set of twins. That's right. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> well, my name is Rossi. I'm going to be your host while you're here. Right on. You guys are totally separated from the girls on opposite ends of the house. The only time you'll interact with them is in the dark room. All right. We're going to kick things off with a group date. So, you three will go in, sit down with the three guys. Ladies, have fun and good luck. I'll see you later. Thank, Thank you. you. Let's go meet our ladies. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity that I get to show myself for who I am without being a twin. It's just phenomenal. I'm gonna put my hands on your shoulder. You can, you can touch me, just keep it above the waist. <laughs> Walking into the dark room was shocking. It was pitch black. There, there's no visual input, nothing. Hello? 
What's up, ladies? Can I uh, feel a hand here? Ladies. Yeah, let's, let's put them forward. This is amazing. Hi, my name's Khalil. Khalil, nice to meet you. I'm in the middle, and I'm Suzanne. My name is Kayla. Kayla, yeah. nice. <laughs> so do you guys want to, like, say something about yourself? I'm Harrison. I'm a total beach body. Like, I really spend every single morning I'm at the beach. I just love it, you know, and that's really what I'm all about. That's cool. I'm Sean, to the right. I'm an outdoor enthusiast. I like the white and red wine. I definitely like the finer things in life. <laughs> uh, you know, a little bit of champagne. <laughs> the first person that sparked my interest was Sean because he definitely seems sarcastic. I have to meet him. My name is Ray, and I love animals, so I, I need to find oh somebody that accepts the fact that I like animals a lot. I actually love animals also. Oh, well, you see? Ray and I both said that we loved animals, and then the more I heard his voice, it was just more seductive. It definitely turned me on. I'm actually a vegan, and um, <laughs> um, I was raised that way, so yeah, okay. talk to my mom about that. A vegan is someone that doesn't eat any products that come from animals. It's definitely something that's really close to my heart because I love animals so much. I am a vegetarian. Oh, two so vegans. Okay. Well, no, 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 no. There's completely different. Yes. No, it's do. just a little different. Well, yeah, you're right, a little different. Okay. I do love to cook, and I love to cook for people around oh, me. Oh, I so love cooking, I, too. Hey, it is my turn. I was just agreeing with you. Kayla interrupted me, and I was ticked off. We just listened to you for, like, five minutes. <laughs> it's my turn. I am old-fashioned, though. I definitely yes. think the girl takes care of the house. She cooks, she cleans, she sews, all that. Amen. I don't know about sewing, but I agree with everything else. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I sew. You tell these ladies how to do it. The girl I'm really digging right now is Kaleo, just because of her overall attitude. And so hopefully we're a, a great match for each other. I just want a guy that I can actually talk to, because being a girl, I talk. So a guy, a guy, yeah, a, so a guy who's like, I'm, I'm just being real. Absolutely. Um, not a vegan or a vegetarian. Yeah. I like meat. Yeah. I feel like I know what kind of a girl Suzanne is. And if she's down just to enjoy a summer day and have some barbecue, that's the girl for me. Bye. Bye. Ladies, come back anytime. At this point, the girls have no idea that there's twins involved. It's just a great feeling that we can get along with girls just doing our own thing. I liked Harrison and Sean. Yeah, me too. I definitely think that Ray, the whole animal thing, is very big for me. Guys, just to put it out there, vegan, vegetarian, I'm like, oh no, you guys are gonna both be high maintenance. I'm gonna have to buy you organic oh, milk. Oh, oh, <laughs> no, 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 I hate organic milk. Coming up, the men and women switch sides of the house. Wow. If she's about five bags of makeup, how long could it possibly take for her to get ready? And passion takes over the dark room. They should just change the name of this experiment from dating in the dark to kissing in the dark. Look at this. Based on their impressions from the group date, the men and women sent invitations for their first one-on-one -on -one dates. Send. <laughs> first up were Harrison and Suzanne, who invited each other. Supposed to be a couch in here. Oh, there is a couch. I really liked Harrison in the group date, and I thought his voice sounded nice. That like sealed it for me. I was like, Harrison, what do you uh, do for a job right now? I am a bouncer and a waiter. I want to be a teacher. I teach Sunday school at my church. Okay, okay. And I'm not immature, but like I have oh, that ability yeah. to tap into like when I was a kid. It's I'm like really goofy. Admirable. We good. I'm good. very sarcastic though, and I, I love kids, but me and sleep are best friends. <laughs> so I really am not ready to give it up. My impression of Suzanne is that she's just a talker. Like an endless talker. I want to be able to be with someone that I can communicate with. And I'm also a really good listener. Okay, yeah, that's, that's cool. But that's, that... I'm ADD. Like, I have my opinions, and they're right for me. I really like my ability to communicate with Harrison, because I talk a lot, and he he seemed like he was down to listen more. So um, it was a great date. I didn't drink until after high school. Good girl, good grades. Not like the teacher's pet in the, that annoying, like, teacher, teacher. <laughs> Next up, we're Kayla and Ray who also invited each other. Can I get a hug? Yes. Ooh. This is comfy. Yeah, can I feel your hair? Oh, I like your hair. I like yours. <laughs> I felt sparks flying right off the bat. I love a girl that's comfortable being physical. That's my knee. That's your knee. It's okay, you can keep it there. We were mesmerized by each other. One thing that like really turns me on is when a guy wears deodorant. <laughs> 
Yeah, you smell good. <laughs> you know, a girl that's turned on by deodorant is a first for me. When I'm totally rolling with it, I'm gonna put some deodorant on my face and double up on the layers. I'm wearing perfume and deodorant. <laughs> well, you smell delicious. What? <laughs> that's kind of kinky, but I like it. That's the way I am. I just go for it. Wow. He was just more than what I thought he was going to be. And I could never in a million years thought that this could happen on the first date. And feeling this about someone that, like, I've never seen. I guess we're just going to, like, lay here until our time runs out. You can give me a kiss. So in the dark, the twin factor is completely taken out. I'm just Ray, and I guess I passed the test. I like him a lot. Yeah? And um, I give him a little peck. A little peck. What? Yay! I got a kiss. I do oh, yeah. yeah. I have to give you the handshake on that one. Good work, sir. For the last date, Khalil and Sean invited each other. So, I'm, is this I'm you? Right here. This is me. Oh, dang. What's up? So, relationships. Like, tell me about why are you single? So why I'm single is because I'm very picky. Okay. Mm. Well. What's the longest relationship you ever had? Mm, six months. It's kind of short. Being an identical twin has great advantages because normally I have a built-in wingman, and if I'm not talking enough, he just makes it more comfortable. But right now, I have nobody. So, do you have any questions for me? Like, OK, well, on my date with Sean, there wasn't anything like really tangible. I was not too impressed with Mr. Sean. Bye, Khalil. Bye. What's up, boys? How are we doing? Good. Fantastic. Fantastic. Wonderful. Well, I'm going to give you guys a chance to get to know the girls a little bit better outside the dark room. That sounds good. You guys get to go into the girls' room <laughs> and go through everything. We'll do. Don't yeah. worry. <laughs> While you guys are doing that, the girls are going to be doing the exact same thing in your room. What? <laughs> Hopefully, we'll help you give a little bit better idea about what these guys are all about. Awesome. All right, I'll see y'all later. Thank you. Ascending the white staircase. Khalil's bit. Wow. I think Khalil brought a lot of clothes. What do you think this is for? For looking great in? <laughs> You're not going to hate on that. Kayla. Oh, whoa. That's very cute. Kayla likes to show off her body. <laughs> Moving right along Suzanne. to Suzanne. Suzanne. Suzanne packs underwear. very light. Her stuff is less complicated than the other girls. Yeah. Suzanne is low maintenance. I want to see what they have to hide. I really want to get a better sense of who the guys are rather than just talking to them because they could be putting up a front. So Ray's got to Ray's red. OK. Oh my gosh, Ray has a map. It says fishing information. He told me he was an animal lover, and now he's a fisherman. If he's a fisher, then it's him. gotta be. The next time I go out with Ray, I want him to answer the question about the map. Let's go check out that bathroom. Each one of the girls has their own little spots. So I'm really nervous I'm gonna see something that I don't wanna see. So we got some Old Spice here. That must mean it's Kayla, man. When Kayla told me about her deodorant fetish, I thought she's a different girl, and that's my type of girl. Sean's bed. Let's open this up. That's all he brought? Blue and green shirt. I don't know, like the two t-shirts? Really? That's all he brought? Next. <laughs> wow. Hands down, Suzanne. Second area, minimal makeup. It has to be Suzanne in connection to her clothes. The fact that she didn't really bring much. No makeup. Yeah, this screams the whole Toothbrush, plain style. Toothpaste. Finding Suzanne's small amount of makeup was a big sigh of relief, and that's what I really love, is a girl who wears virtually no makeup and is just naturally beautiful. Harrison, suitcase. Oh, how cute. It's really small. OK. Sandals, all right, so we like some beads. OK. Oh, Harrison seems like he has really good beach style. What was special about Harrison's suitcase was the clothes he wore. So I could relate more to Harrison's style. And so that's kind of what turned me on. Herein lies. Uh -oh. oh, gosh. Wow. This must be Khalil. What, what the hell stuff? is that? I and mean, look on the counter. There's more makeup. She has a third of she's about five <laughs> bags of makeup. Khalil had bags upon bags of makeup. Can I just ask what airbrush legs are? Half of it, I didn't even know what it was. How long could it possibly take for her to get ready? I think Khalil is way too high wow. maintenance. After seeing each other's belongings, the participants went on another round of dates. Kayla invited Harrison. I liked Harrison's suitcase way better than Ray's suitcase. 